This is my first and last response to CoffeeZilla. Not only is this my last response, I'm offering CoffeeZilla a $100,000 bet offer cash if he comes and spends a day with me in person and shows me anything that I've shown today to be fake or flawed. It'll be completely unedited. It'll be super, super raw footage for his channel to prove to you guys that, quote unquote, that I'm a fraud. Now, the fact that he put his own friend in a predicament like this to make his cult family think that he was bribed to come do this video with me, shame on you, CoffeeZilla, and shame on your cult for thinking down on someone like Spencer, who I didn't know before he contacted me in the first place. Not only did Spencer come and ask me this unnoticed, he showed up to my door and I was already in the middle of a 30-day boot camp with five random students that I flew out. Now in this video, I'm gonna go through every single thing nobody has ever shown you. And not only that, there are a lot of things in this video that I didn't think I would ever show, but today, you know what, just for you CoffeeZilla, I'm gonna show you every single detail. My statements, my bank statements, my profits, every single thing. And for you to take this $100,000 bet, I'm doing this live on camera. Come show your fans that one little thing that I showed today is fake and that cash will be yours. And whatever you do with that cash is 100% up to you. So let me get right into it. I'm gonna show you everything from a live screen recording. I'll even show you his video on camera. It'll be recorded today and uploaded the same exact day. And don't get me wrong, when I posted that video, I knew exactly that you were gonna respond. The first time I didn't respond, but today I couldn't wait for you to respond. Let me see my laptop. Let's get right into it. So the first thing I'm gonna show is the fact that this is Sunday, February 18th, and we're on the YouTube channel here with CoffeeZilla. I'm gonna refresh the page so you can see when it was uploaded 12 hours ago. Now I'm gonna to go to TD Ameritrade here, refresh the page. Mind you, I'm on Safari and not Google Chrome. Nothing here can be edited or even be played with. I'm gonna show you one statement. And that's, this is the only statement I need to even show you. Now, when you come in person, you'll get to go through every single statement. And if you find one thing that I've shown and lied about, $100,000 will be going to you on camera. Now, let's go through January of 2021. Actually, let's go to December because you made that video, I believe, in 2020, end of 2020. So let me show you what 2021 looked for me just off of trading. Now, December 2021, I'm gonna click this PDF. And let me just remind you, this isn't Forex. This is TD Ameritrade. If you've never heard of TD Ameritrade, remember TD Bank. If you're on the East Coast, you definitely have this bank. Every broker for the stock market is regulated by the SEC. Now, let me scroll down for you here. I'm obviously gonna blur my address and things like that. So don't try to say, oh, he's blurring you know, information. I have an account number. I'm not gonna just give you guys my address, my full, you know, P.O. box. I might as well give you guys my social security at that point. So let me scroll down for you guys and let me show you something. So right here, you can see just in December of 2021, my market value of my account was $8.6 million. My cost basis was $5.4 million and my unrealized gain loss was $3.1 million. And this isn't the first time I've shown my statement. If you scroll back on my old social media videos, YouTube, I've went month to month, I've done year to date multiple and multiple times. And the fact that I'm not getting any credit for it is completely disrespectful. Nobody's willing to go that far to show you guys how legit they are. Now. We go through this, we just showed you my TD Ameritrade, the statement right there, right on TD Ameritrade. You guys can see this, the website. You can visit the website yourself and do some research about it if you've never traded in your life. Now, the second thing that I would love to show you right now is gonna be very interesting. And I've never shown this before. I was investigated by the SEC in 2020, right? Do you know how it feels to be investigated by the SEC? Have you ever been part of that investigation? I never shared this in my life. And the fact that I was investigated by the SEC, CoffeeZilla, which you can do some research, I'm sure you know a lot of people inside, and find out if this subpoena right here that I'm about to show you is legit. 
So the SEC came to me, and I've never shared this before in all respect to the SEC. The SEC came to me and asked for every trade I've ever made since 2016 and asked for every signal I've posted in my Discord. And they came to me and asked for every single document. Now, as a 20 year old at the time, it was a little, you know, shaking. It was a little heartbreaking to even come into, you know, something like this. I've never been in any issue like this. I've ever only ever done everything right. So when this came to, to light, which could have been because of you or because of someone else, it was a scary thing for me. But knowing that I did nothing wrong helped me, helped me stay confident the whole time. So I'm going to scroll down. As you guys can see, my name at the very top. I'm not going to show my address. That'll be blurred. But the attorney general himself knocked on my door that morning. And this is the paper or document that they handed to me. Let me go to the next slide. Now, they asked for so many different things when it came to this. I, you know, it was so long ago. But you guys can see every document or record requested by the subpoena must be produced in a matter that is or has been maintained in ordinary course of business. Each demand calls for the production of the original document, as well as copies and drafts that differ in any respect for the origin original final draft. Now, there's so many things that they asked for. I'm not even going to go through it, but you can see documents to be provided. I'll show you this full screen. Nor trades formation documents and all uh, amendments. Documents identifying the members, shareholders, and partners of Nord Trades. Provide the name, address, telephone number, checks or electronic money, all communication you transmit or receive from any person or entity uh, concerning securities or option. All financial account statements. Do you see this, CoffeeZilla? All financial account statements, including bank statements for all accounts in which you maintain the interest or authority. Webs websites maintained by me. They had to match up what I was saying on my website was fully legit. All documents concerning financial advice you distributed or sold to the public, which was my Discord. They had to thoroughly go through my Discord and go through everything that I've sent. Even a message saying, hi, how are you? Or good morning to my Discord. They had to go through that. All videos posted on the internet or social media accounts in which you are speaking concerning purchasing or selling securities, securities markets, options, or providing securities trading or financial advice. Now, I'm gonna send you this document in your email. You just send me what email, I'll send this over to you. Obviously, do not show this on the internet as far as like all the details about you know my name and my address, but I'll send this over to you so you can actually go through it. And if you wanna make a phone call and find out, I know you have a lot of people inside. So you should have known this already, CoffeeZilla. Now, let's go back to this. And not only that, I forgot to say, I did a deposition. I had to put on a suit. It was during uh, COVID, so there was no court. I did a deposition with the Attorney General and the SEC. So let's go back to this. Now, let's talk about my oldest members in my Discord, right? I'm a scam in your eyes. Why would people stick around, right? You know, it would only take a month or two or maybe even three months to, you know, say, yeah, whatever Nor is putting in this chat is not valuable or is a scam. Now, let me just show you one page of my oldest customers. I'm not going to show names and emails. That's their privacy. But you can see total spend. And look, I'm just going to scroll down here. And you can see I can go to next page. And you guys can see this load here. And it'll show you how much people have spent in my chat on a monthly basis. Well, this is over the course, but a monthly basis of $200 a month. Now, do I offer a Discord where people can pay for my services? 100%. It's the same as an NBA player taking a sponsorship from Puma or Adidas. If he's making $40 million, $50 million from a contract in the NBA, if that's so much money, why does he take a sponsorship if he has that much money? Now, I have a certain skill set that I'm willing to provide to the public, and I'm willing to charge for it. Now, if I did have a Discord, if I didn't have a Discord, it didn't even matter because every single morning I had to wake up and trade anyways. So this was just a quick, you know, overview of my oldest customers that are still continuing to pay to this day. And that'll show you why if I was a scam, they would have left this chat a very long time ago. Now, the next thing we're going to go through is my, uh, I'm going to show you the charts here. Let's go through the charts real quick together, CoffeeZilla. Now, the first thing that we need to talk about is how uneducated you are in the financial markets. 
Now, you may be good at one thing or maybe a couple things. I've seen your page, and this is not to put you down in any way. You've done a, a lot of great things, like putting away Jay Mazzini, which I have texts that he wanted me to trade for him, and I never took that offer. Now, the other thing that you've done is put Logan Paul and all these crypto scams and, and all that to light. You know how many times I was offered to provide something to social media that was a scam for a big payment? And how many times I've declined it because of my integrity? Now, how many people can you say have done this? Now, let me show you something about these charts. You know how much money you need to move the stocks that I play with? This one minute, one candle has 159,000 in volume. That's 159,000 shares, right? Let me just show you how much in one minute this stock had liquid. 159,000 at a stock price of 1030. $163 million for one candle. You think that we're moving a stock, Coffee? Why don't you do some research before you do things on your channel? Now, I understand a lot of the things that you have against me are opinionated, and that we've already gone through that. I've talked to Spencer, and everything you're talking and saying about me is opinionated. Now, let's back them up with facts, and this is what I'm here for. Now, I needed $163 million to even move this stock a little bit right here on the one minute. I wish I was worth $160 million, and I wish the, the, the whole Discord of stock hours had $163 million to move a stock, quote unquote. Now, you might say, oh, well, you play penny stocks. You don't play that stock. Now, let me show you a quick overview of my Discord and the signals that I sent. Find one stock that's a penny stock and not a big chip stock. Find one stock. I'm going to scroll through here for you, CoffeeZilla. Find one thing. I play stocks like SMCI, Apple, Microsoft. You need millions, hundreds of millions, billions of dollars to move this stock. So there is no pumping and dumping or whatever the case may be. And the SEC has already investigated me for that. So you're a little late on that one. So I just wanted to point that out. And then, by the way, that $100,000 offer will be two weeks and I'll allow you to trade with me. I'll fund the account myself. And you can show the public if you're up or down in those two weeks. Raw footage because quote unquote Spencer was going against you and he faked that whole interview, right? So why don't you come spend two weeks with me? I'll fund an account personally and you can see if you'll be green or red in the next two weeks. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about is I don't sell a course. You keep mentioning this course thing. And even if I did, let me show you a quick clip of Einstein of Wall Street, who has been on Wall Street since the 70s and 80s before there was all this computer stuff. He's selling a course. Take a look at this clip. You want to learn to trade stocks successfully? Well, you are in the right place. WSGTA.com, Wall Street Global Trading Academy. Now, what are you going to say about him? That he's a fraud? He's been at the New York Stock Exchange since the 80s but he is selling a course. Does that make him a fraud? So even if I did sell a course, which I don't actually, I only sell a Discord because this is what I do on a daily basis no matter what. Am I a fraud for selling a course? I don't have a course. And is Einstein of Wall Street, the legend of Wall Street, a fraud because he sells a course? Make that make sense, CoffeeZilla. And by the way, the only thing I do promote on a weekly basis is the free day trial in my chat. I allow one free day in my chat every Wednesday where they get to come and see exactly what we do on a daily basis. And they get to make the decision themselves whether they want to pay for the chat or not. I don't come on my stories and say, hey, guys, join my chat. You'll make $100,000 this year if you sign up. You've never once saw me do that, CoffeeZilla. And since we're here on my Discord, let's go through some testimonials, CoffeeZilla. I'm going to scroll down. Now, testimonials, I know the first thing you're going to say, oh, he paid for that. He told them, now I'll pay you to write a testimonial. You'll see that the testimonials in my chat are every few months because I don't even mention it. There's a tab in there for them to leave a testimonial if they would like, right? And if they don't want to, they are not paid to and they are not forced to. I do not even mention the testimonials chat. And that's as well, you can see right here, February 9th was the last testimonial I got in my chat. And as you can see, when I came to Stock Hours, I came from a chat that not only blew my account heavily passes, my account, 
heavily passes. 15,000, but taught me nothing. I've been in stock hours for two years and five months as of now and spent those years learning my edge. And as you can see, his PL here. And I can keep going through this testimonials forever and ever. And I already know, CoffeeZilla, the testimonials are fake too. But let's just go through them for fun, right? So I'm going to keep going and you can see there are months and months where, you know, testimonials aren't posted in chat because they are not reminded that they need to leave a testimonial. So I'm just going to keep scrolling here just for the likes and just for the for the funs and giggles here. And something that you continue to mention in all your videos is why if I have the secret of trading, quote unquote, why do I share those thoughts with other people? And the thing you don't understand is the market has trillions of dollars in liquidity. This is an e-com where the more saturated it gets, the less money people are going to make. With e-com, if you're selling a product and hundreds of other people want to sell the same product, you're going to have to split the profits with other people. Now, when it comes down to trading and when you're trading stocks and options, it doesn't matter how many people trade and it won't affect how much you make or lose on a daily or weekly basis. Now, I understand, like I said, this isn't your industry for you to understand or be educated on. But at least if you're going to make a video on me, make sure you educate yourself just a little bit on how trading options and stocks work. The easiest thing you can do is contact people from the New York Stock Exchange. You have so many plugins. Contact people at firms. Does it do anything if other people are trading the same stock as you? Now, another thing to add on top of that that you said in your video is, I trade for 30 minutes on a daily basis or 15 to 30 minutes. Why do I do that if I can just, if I can make money and trade all day? When it comes down to trading, less is more. That's how trading works, CoffeeZilla. I like to make one or two trades in the morning. And does that mean every single day I'm finishing in 30 minutes? Sometimes I'm at that desk till 2 p.m. Eastern time. Now, do I want to sit at that desk till 2 p.m. Eastern time? No, because at that point I'm over trading. You wouldn't understand any of that. But trading for 15 to 30 minutes or the first hour or two, I like to cut off my days at 11 a.m. Eastern time because after that, volume pretty much dies. Volatility isn't as much as it is in the morning. The most volatile the market you know, becomes is, or, or is, is during the beginning hours of the day. And if you talk to anybody that knows anything in this industry, they'll tell you that same exact thing. The one problem with you, CoffeeZilla, is you never know when to you know, accept a loss or accept that you're wrong. You tried to tell everybody that Loft made up questions to make me look bad on his page. And then you just proved to yourself that with the contact of Loft, he told you right back that I approved every single question on that interview. And not only that, I did two interviews with Loft. The first one being a regular interview asking me what to do and what I do for a living. The second interview, he traded on his own Robinhood account with me and made money. You cannot fake that. And that's why I'm asking you to come spend two weeks with me, which you're going to decline this offer as per usual. But I would love to meet up in person since Spencer, your friend, made you look bad. And the fact that you kept putting him down in that video and made everybody go against Spencer should tell you a little something about yourself. Now, the next thing is I see a lot of comments talking about the Miami house. Yes, it's an Airbnb. I flew out five random students. I'm not going to do it in my house. And I don't have a house in Miami. Also, I see a few comments talking about the house in Miami where I flew five students out. I never said that was my house. That's an Airbnb. Why would I fly random people to my house and do a 30-day boot camp with them? That doesn't make any sense. Spencer knew that before he came to the video. We told him it was an Airbnb. Everything was up front. Now, I'm going to end this video with a phone call to Spencer and see if he has anything to tell you guys. Before we end this, let's see if Spencer has any words for you. Let's call him here. Hey, Spencer. What's up, brother? Full disclosure, you are on video right now. And... I'm ending the video off. I went through every single thing, my SEC case, every uh, my document in 2021, showing how much I made, showing Stripe, every single thing. So I just want to ask, do you have any final words? You can say anything that you want. No, man, drama. A little drama today, huh? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's good, man. I, uh, I enjoyed hanging out with you, and I'm looking forward to the video. Cool. And I, I made sure to state that 
we didn't know each other before you came to that house. It was completely raw. We literally let you, we told you to stay around. You could do whatever you want with, with, with our group. So just stating that on the video. It, it was really funny because when I showed up, I think you were kind of awkward because I don't think you knew what was going on. Yeah. You didn't even know who I was. I was yeah. like, hey, I'm doing, here to do a video. And no one, none of your other group knew who I was. Yeah, my friend was just like, yo, someone wants to come and expose you and he wants to visit us in Miami. Do you want him to come? And I was like, yeah, why not? And that's what happened. Yep. All right, cool. Thank you, Spencer. Uh, I hope you <laughs> enjoyed this video tonight. <laughs> I'll see you guys. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys realized after this video, not everything that you see and not everything that you hear is truth. But everything I brought to you guys here was raw, screen recorded, and shown right on camera to your faces. Now, you can take this and say, well, that was all fake. And I'm okay with that because I could have responded four years ago. But I just offered your cult leader, CoffeeZilla, a $100,000 bet, and I'll get a contract signed with my lawyer that that $100,000 will go to CoffeeZilla, and he can sue me if I don't do that. That he can come and spend a day with me and go through every single document that I showed today and find one flaw. I just want you to find one flaw that I've done today, and I'll let you spend two weeks with me, and I'll fund your account, and if you come out green or red, you can show it to your audience. Now, I can't wait to see you, CoffeeZilla, and I can't express how thankful I am to your cult family and you for continuing to shine light on who I am and for me to continue to show you how wrong you are about me. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. But this is my last response until I see him in person.